Okay, for lunch, I'll have the Caesar salad without the onion, no croutons. Put the chicken on the side and no Caesar dressing on the Caesar salad. Burger and fries? I thought you were eating healthy. Doesn't count. I didn't order. I got a salad. I got a salad. And scene. So does that ever happen to you? You make a vow to eat really, really healthy and then you cave at the sight of french fries? In reality, I love to eat very healthy food, always have, but... But whatever I order, you look over at it and you steal it. But and you have this feeling like that's, and then we ask like, what did you have for dinner? I, I just like, had a salad. Had a salad. And you ate my entire hamburger and all of my fries. <laughs> but if I didn't order it, the calories don't count. I also learned from my mother that cookie crumbs have no calories. Oh good. So I would always, <laughs> not, no. not really, yeah. but like I would just like eat the little crumbs at the end and be like, it's free, it's, it's nothing. To eat healthy, uh, Kim is going to show us what maybe she should have done instead of eating my whole hamburger. Yes, I'm going to share with you some healthy, delicious, mm -hmm recipes. And I'll just, uh, I'm gonna sit this one out. Today we're making a healthy, yummy pumpkin soup. I love to eat healthy, actually, but if it doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna waste the calories on boring food and just a plate of lettuce. Start with pie pumpkins, and they will sell these in the grocery stores this time of year. It's different than a normal jack-o'-lantern pumpkin pumpkin, I find that it's a lot uh, more dense and not as watery. We're gonna scoop out the insides. So you wanna try to get as much of the stringy stuff out as you can. After you have scooped out the guts, uh, cut it into small chunks. So you're gonna just repeat that 97,000 times. We have all the guts out, now we're gonna put them in the oven to roast for about 45 minutes to an hour. So you know your pumpkin is done when you can kind of smush it with the fork. Just getting out of the way. Ooh. So now we're going to just take the skins off. We're gonna take the skins off the pumpkin themselves. Mm. We have gutted our pumpkins. If you're gonna just do a plain pumpkin puree right now, you would put it in the immersion blender, but we'll do that in a second. Two tablespoons, looks like two tablespoons, right? Coconut oil. One yellow onion. I'm gonna cook this until it's translucent. I, um, love garlic, so I put in more garlic than average, but I think about two is socially acceptable for other people. So two teaspoons of garlic. I use a veggie stock, you can use the chicken stock, about four cups. Uh. I'm gonna add some curry powder and some fresh ginger. You can use ground ginger, but we have some French of the fresh in the house for some reason. So we're gonna use that. For and some reason. For some reason, oh yeah, we use. I love ginger. We love ginger. Hey, like, you know how anti-pumpkin I am? This right. smells amazing. It's about a teaspoon curry powder. This is about four cups of that pumpkin. It looks kind of gloopy, but soon we're gonna mix it. That's the universal sign for mix it up. Pinch or two. That is a tablespoon, yo. Wait, how long do you let it sit in there? Um, I just kind of let it go. Oh, great. Oh, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Oops. <laughs> Scoop as much as you can. If you have an immersion blender, you can do this in a food processor or a blender. The most important part of this recipe, and if you don't do this, I mean, it's not going to be edible. And then you add Garnish with some pumpkin seeds. Oh, for real, that's really good. Wow, thank it you. Doesn't, like, it's not annoyingly pumpkin. It's hearty. See, healthy food doesn't have to be boring. 